Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be sharing all of the handbags that I have purchased this year. This is a very long list but I've been very excited to film this and share all of my latest purchases with you guys as well as an updated collection. I'm also going to share which bags that I am thinking of selling or giving away. So let's go ahead and turn the camera around. All right, you guys, so we are going to start off not so strong, but the first luxury shoe that I purchased slash accessory slash SLG was actually these Gucci sandals. I bought, purchased them in white for, again, the bachelorette party slash um, like wedding festivities and to go with the St. Laurent purse. And as you all can see, they haven't held up. I had these in a hits and misses video um, where they're definitely a miss. I'm keeping them because they still work, but like they just don't hold up. So I'm happy that I got them, but I'm not going to give them in another color. I'm definitely going to try some other Gucci shoes because I heard that um, this just happens with these sandals and I just wasn't aware. But these were the first purchases and again, still use them, still wear them, um, but just won't buy them in another color like I was planning on doing. So we have these sandals. And then after that, I purchased the Gucci Ophelia pouch. So I also included this in my handbag collection video because I do have a converter in here and I do sometimes use this as a bag. It's great for when I'm traveling to convert it as a bag. So that way you can use it for storage and then use it functionally as well while you're out. But absolutely love this. I have really just been drawn to the Gucci SLGs this year, um, especially after this one in the cosmetic case that I'm about to show. They just have such great quality and I love them so much. And I think they're just a little bit different because everybody has Louis Vuitton SLGs, um, but I feel like the Gucci ones are different because not that many people go the Gucci route, but I do think that the Gucci ones are made better, especially because most of them have this leather um, lining and they're cheaper. So really love this. Um, it's definitely a take on the toiletry. It's Gucci's version, but I just think it looks so much nicer. So we have that. And then after that, I have my little SLG drawer. And right before my wedding, I went to dinner with my sister and ended up getting the matching card case. I've been wanting a card case just for my clutches and smaller bags. And I decided to get this one so that way it matched when I use my Ophelia pouch as a bag because I was using it. Like I do use it a lot as a bag, as I mentioned, and so I really wanted it to match. I was getting, I was going to get the Saint Laurent black one, but I just really love this. And again, I just love this like brown leather exterior. So I ended up getting this, and I've loved it. I use it so much, especially when it comes to going out, and then just for like smaller bags. So we have that, and then when I went to residency in Portland. There is no sales tax, so y'all know I always have to get something. And my first trip, I ended up getting two things. So I ended up getting this key pouch, which I primarily use as an AirPod case when I'm not traveling. However, when I am traveling, I use this to hold cards. I primarily use this as like a wallet. I'll put the rental car key on here. And again, that's something that it's kind of like a two for one. So going to the destination, my AirPods are in here. I'll hook this onto my bag and have it like that. And then once I'm there, I'll use this as a wallet if I don't have this or if I just want to like go down to just my keys and my cards and put the rental car key on here and I'm able to hold a lot. And I love it. This has been a great piece. I take it with me whenever I essentially leave the house, whether it's for AirPods or travel. Um, I initially, however, was going to get the small cosmetic case, which they ended up discontinuing and so I purchased this instead to serve that purpose because that's how I was going to use a small cosmetic case. I saw the medium cosmetic case while I was there and I bought this at the beginning of the trip and then after residency went back to buy this because I figured it was, as y'all can see, smaller than my Louis Vuitton and I figured with some of the bags that I use, especially since I've been getting all of these medium sized bags, I don't need all of this room in my cosmetic pouch. So. I can grab the medium one and then use it for every day or if I just need to carry less with me. And you guys, I'm so glad that I did that because I really love it and I've used it more in the summer. I moved back into this one recently because I just carry like hand sanitizer and tissue with me now, but I love it and I feel like you can actually hold 
um, a lot more in here based on how you set it up because of the leather lining with the large cosmetic case or any of the cosmetic case from Louis Vuitton. If it's filled up to the top, it disforms. And if you have one, you know what it is. Here's what it looks like when I stuff it to the top. And as you all see, it just misshapes. And I feel like that can't be good for the bag. But I also don't like the look and just feel like there's too much in here. So you can really only put so much in this one, even though it's larger. Um, aside from the hand sanitizer, which I could probably make fit. I can fit everything that I would fit in here, in here. And because of this leather lining, it doesn't misshape and it holds everything in perfectly. So that's something that I was kind of starting the video off with, with I've really been loving the Gucci SLGs for that reason, because they have this like leather lining on everything. It just improves the quality and functionality. So we have that. All right, and then just coming into the closet because the next few purchases were shoes. So when I went to Portland for residency in August, I, again, y'all, I have to buy something because I save with the tax-free shopping. So I ended up getting these Gucci sneakers, which I absolutely love. These are my like casual going out rainy day sneakers that I really loved. I used them throughout the entire trip. Um, I just walked a lot, so I added some soles from Target. But other than that, they're pretty comfortable. I did get the men's because I do have wider feet. And so I tried on a men's, I believe, eight. There's no size in here. Um, and loved it. So if you have wider feet, I would recommend checking out the men's shoes and just, you know, sizing down to what matches. But I really loved wearing these. And then after that, I um, went and I purchased the Hermes Oasis sandal. So as y'all know, I have so many Miller sandals in like every color. That's not even all of them. There's some missing. And so I didn't want to get the Rons, um, but I wanted something a little different. So I love the Oasis because they're just different. I feel like they, you know, you still get that trend. You still get that Hermes um strap up front but I just love the little heel because I don't have anything like it and um I wanted the tan and then they didn't have them so I purchased the black because I wanted them in multiple colors and then literally the following week the tan uh, I'm sorry the gold ones which are tan um came in stock and so I ended up purchasing these as well just the following week so two items off of my wish list. I absolutely love these. I did have to break them in. Again, I have um, larger, like wider feet. So um, you can't break them in because it is leather, but it just took a few wears to actually break them in, but I do love them. And then recently, my last purchase of the year for designer shoes was actually these Louboutins. And if you saw the unboxing video recently, I wasn't even like looking for them. I was wanting a different pair because if you've been following me for a while, you know that I washed these. And so they still hold up. You can still somewhat wear them, but I just wanted a new pair. And I went to the Allen Mall to get a bag. And these were at the Neiman Marcus outlet. And they were only $318. These are the Queen 100s. And they were um shipped from the store because someone returned them because they were damaged and I want to show y'all the damage so this was the damage that was done <laughs> right here it's a little scuff which as y'all can see happens anyways when you wear Louboutins if you own them you know and so that was the only thing wrong with them and so of course I purchased them I absolutely love them they're so pretty and they're the 100 millimeter so they're just a shorter heel which make them a lot more comfortable to walk in and they're more open which I love. All right and then more recently I purchased these Gucci Square sunglasses. So when I was um, shopping my second time in residency this year I was actually looking for the sunglasses and I ended up deciding to get the um, sneakers once I saw that they had them in my size and I'm very happy that I did that. One because I was able to wear the sneakers on the trip and I needed it but two, because I actually ended up getting these on sale at Nordstrom for 30% off. And so I saved even more than just tax um, because I waited. And I was so happy that I did that. I have one of these for so long. So I have my Chanel, I believe they're just called cat sunglasses. I can't remember exactly. 
um, and they're just a different style. I've loved these oversized sunglasses. Um, these are the square sunglasses. I don't think I mentioned it, but I'll have everything linked below that I can link. But you guys really love them. I'm really happy I was able to get them 30% off as well and was able to add these to my collection. All right, you guys. And then the final SLG purchase of the year was this Louis Vuitton Agenda cover. So this is something that I didn't think of purchasing this year, but it was in stock. And I know that agendas are very hard to track down. And so I ended up purchasing this one and incorporating a new planner into my system because what I had wasn't working. And I um, really love that I was able to get this added to my collection and also incorporate a planner that's been working really well. So yeah, other than that, that is all of my SLGs, accessories, and shoes that I have purchased this year. If y'all have any questions, please feel free to let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you.